Hi, folks. John Cordisco back again. Sorry about my hoarse voice. I got a little cough lately. But I can't let life interfere with my chest, so I'll continue doing my videos. Round three of the Women's World Chess Championship 2016. As white, the current Women's World Champion, Maria Mozichuk, and as black, former Women's World Champion, Hu Yifan from China. It was a weird setup with FIDE. Hu Yifan was the Women's World Champion in FIDE in their infinite stupidity. Decided to do a knockout set up instead for the new championship. And Hu Yifan refused or didn't want to participate. Which automatically makes sure the challenger the person that won. So technically right now, Maria Musichuk is the current Women's World Champion. And if you can figure all that out, good luck. Fide could script a one-car funeral. Anyway, folks, enough of that. Let's get to it. It's going to be a closed kettle in round three. Musichuk is white. Hui Yifan is black. Let's go through the opening here. Like I said, a closed kettle in. We'll go for the first few moves here. Most of this is book. C6 reinforced the D5 square. Rook comes over to D1. I'll tell you the truth. I kind of like A4 right here. E4, B3. Oh, Maria decided to go rook D1. B6. Now, this is the move, I think, later bitter in the behind. Bishop B4. Now, there's several moves, I think, that are good here. Queen A4. C takes D5. Rook C1, the computer likes, but a human wouldn't move the rook again. She decided to go bishop f4. Now, that's kind of a weird spot for that bishop. He can be easily chased off by this, forcing him back. And then the knight just goes back again. But I don't think who you found would like to draw this early on move 10. The bishop a6. C takes, finally C takes, opening up this file. And with the queen on it, I think white's going to lose the tempo. Knight e5. Hits the queen. Decides to go knight c6, which is also the computer's choice. Now you got to have a lot of confidence. Now I will say, when knight goes to c6, oops, excuse me, knight to c6, it's not really pinned there against the queen because knight takes with check. And then the queen moves away. Or queen goes here. Well, maybe not there, but goes somewhere out of the rook's line of sight. So black hits the knight. Knight takes the bishop. Queen takes. And then knight c3. Now, according to the computer, that's all. That's the last book move. This is all book. I'm assuming that it is shows a slight advantage for white. I'm not real keen on pinning that knight, but there's nothing really that can challenge that knight. The knight can come here, but big deal. I mean, pawn can just take or bishop take here. So white's okay, even though it looks a little awkward with that pin. Knight h5 hitting the bishop. Bishop goes back to e3. Now, that's a bad spot for that bishop, I think. I'm sorry. Uh, Maria, I know you're a great player, way better than I am, but I'm not really sure where that bishop should really go right now. Maybe back to d2, well, that takes away a square from the queen to move. Maybe back to c1. Let's go back here. Right first and second, actually the first move now on the computer by a hair's breadth is bishop to c1. And that's what I think she should have done. But after bishop e3, the knight just goes back. And now Maria goes a4. Trying to get some going on the queen side. Bishop goes to c4. And then a5. Kind of a, it's not a minority attack, but it has the same, same type theme. Disrupt the pawns. Pawn takes. Rook takes. 
queen b4. It's getting a little hairy now. What to do? What to do? Besides, move the other rook over, which makes perfect sense. Not as good, I don't think, would have been rook takes. Because after bishop, queen has to move, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, bishop takes, rook a8. You basically have to trade, and what it comes down to is two bishops and a pawn for a rook and a knight. And black sits very well, I think. But after rook a to d1, rook b8. Rook finally takes then, and then queen goes to b, takes b2. It's starting to get a little hairy. This is a fairly calm position for a while, and all those pawn moves by white pretty much instigated all the action on the queen side. White trades queens. I like king f1. Now, you'll see in the post-mortem, I try to edit out a lot of the Russian, but in the post-mortem with the two players, asked if she could have went g4 here. Now, she's down one game. Uh, they drew round one. Maria lost around two. This is round three, so she's down a full point. And it's the best out of 10 games. So she's got to do something here. And of course you see why when goes pawn there. Knight can't take. Because the knights in pre. Those knights are in very awkward spots. This one doesn't really have any place to go. Worth anything. And this one's got to stay to guard this one. But she went bishop f3. Maybe king f1 might have been a little more accurate. For a couple of reasons. Get your king towards the center of the board. Plus maybe guard the e2 pawn a little bit more. h6. h4. Rook c8. White's got an advantage, but what can it do with it? It's almost in a weird way. Black's almost setting up a, a position where it's a fortress. That's what you do sometimes when... You have something like two pieces and three pawns against the queen. You just set up a fortress, and you can draw that way. Black's starting to set up a fortress, I think. And white, we'll see what white does to, to counteract that. Bishop f4 again. Rook to c2, hitting the knight. The rook comes back to defend. Knight b8 looks promising, I think. To finally get that knight somewhere where it's doing some good. But who he found decided to go h5. King to g2. King h7. Rook c1. Trade off at least one set of rooks. That certainly helps black's drawing chances. e5. Pawn takes. Knight takes. And bishop e3. It's starting to peter out, even though White had, you know, it's one of those things where you can go through these games and, and it'll have a half a point or a three-quarter point advantage for White. But that's the computer evaluation. The reality of it is, it's drawn. Knight takes. I like E takes, but King takes is just as good. Knight to E4. Knight takes, pawn takes, check. King takes, bishop takes E2. Now, here we are. Opposite color bishops, symmetrical pawns. The game is dead drawn. They play out a few more rooms. Rook to a5. F6. Just to control that g5 square. Rook c5. Rook takes. And that's where they drew. I thought Maria might have had something, but like I said, it's... At least you should have pushed a little harder. You get you get nervous. You get cautious. She's the current women's world champion. you got something to lose. And I think Hu Yifan thinks I was the women's world champion and it was taken away from me without a match being played. Now, they're very nice women. Well, I'm an older guy, so I'll say girls. And they're not criticizing Fide that much. But... 
I think who he's found feels cheated, if you want to know my personal opinion. I know I would be. And so here we are. And Maria, of course, being the new women's world champion, has something to lose. And I think she could have played this game a little harder. I think she should have went G4 or G5 there. Start taking some chances. There's only a 10-game match. And she's down a full point. And she had white. And she should have played something different. But your nerves and your confidence sometimes are a key factor in what you play and how you play. Anyway, folks, those are my thoughts on the game. I thought it was a good game. But I thought Maria could have pushed a little harder. Look for more games from this great World Championship tournament. I should say match. Coming up in the next few days is the, I think the ultimate, for me as an American, the candidates final is coming up. I believe it starts March 11th. Look for that. And now the top, of the eight players in it, two of them are Americans. My buddy Carlo Nakamura and Fabiano Caruana. If one of those two can get into the World Championship by winning the tournament, it'll be the first time since 1972 that an American has been has played for the World Championship. There's been Americans that came close. Gotakamski came very close, but just close isn't doesn't really cut it. So I'm really excited about what's coming up here, folks. I'll tell you, I'm 59 years old. I've been waiting since I was 15 years old for another American to get in. Anyway, enough of my ramblings. And I want you all to remember, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Finished in the draw, and the score in the match uh, at the moment is 2-1. Uh, the third part of the match is over. I'd like to ask the players first to say a few words about the game, uh, about the opening today. Ну, я думаю, це тоже ще до тоже там до 5 зараз ще розігрували. I think that position till uh, move bishop b5 was already played in other games. Да. Окей. Це bishop b5, yes. Угу. Зараз після партії мені здається, що може мені не варто було спішитись по домашній стрій. Now, after the game, I believe that I shouldn't have ha uh, hurried with the move a4. Mm -hmm. Instead of a4, what would you like to play, maybe? Maybe mm first -hmm. d2 would be better than a4. Okay. What else you can say? Mm -hmm. Here the play became some kind of forcing. Uh, in general, how did you estimate your position after the opening uh, for both players? Загалом, як ви оцінювали позицію після дебюту? Питання до обох учасників. Let's put this position, for example. Ну, звичайно, що перевага білих незначна. Of course, white has some slight advantage. Але, можливо, недостатньо для перемоги. But maybe it's not enough for win. Uh, can you please explain what do you mean about when you say about edge, about advantage? What exactly you mean? Що саме ви маєте на увазі під перевагою? Ну все таки в білих два слони. White has pair of bishops, but the position is a bit closed. Позиція все ж закрита. You fine? What can you say about the opening and uh, how did you estimate uh, the position here? Around this move. Yeah, I agree with the, I mean, the judgment and, uh, well, I mean, it's still too early to, to make the conclusion that uh, since it's just right after the opening. Mm -hmm. uh, question also to Maria, it's quite difficult to switch from E4 to D4, and D4 happened in your practice not so often. Uh, in general, how, how is it uh, for the player, professional player, to switch on the first move? Питання до Марії. Не так легко міняти перший хід з Е4 на Д4. Як вам було? Ви не так часто граєте Д4. Так, і насправді в мене набагато менше партій з першим ходом Д4. Really, uh, I play D4 uh, not as often as E4. Ну, але я вважаю, що для того, щоб в шахах прогресувати, треба вміти грати Е4 і Д4. 
But I believe really to make progress in chess, one must be able to play both moves. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we continue with the game, um, there were a few moments I wanted to ask you also. Um, first of all, here, um, after you took, you were just wondering if you considered the move G4 here immediately. Повернувшись до партії, ми хотіли вас запитати, чи ви тут розглядали хід G4? For both players. Обох шахістів. Мені би здавалося, що з такою турою на B2 варто так не ризикувати. I believe that with such strong crook on B2, one shouldn't take such risk. In general, you consider it's already like an equal position or still with chances? Ви оцінювали цю позицію вже рік, чи ще зберігалися шанси для вас? Ну, я вважаю, досить мало шансів. I believe it's quite few chances for me. Це таки два слони на одному сланці. Only two pair of bishops, but pawns on the same wing. But let's see maybe now, because it's an interesting point. Just to find, have you seen something like this? Yeah, it's possible. There's my... I mean, my knights are a bit uh, weird. If you break this connection, it will be, it will cause some problems. Uh, problem. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, insertion of h4, h6 to black's favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now one black has to consider maybe knight b8 here. But isn't it a bit achievement for white? <laughs> or not its concrete position? I don't believe that there is enough advantage for white here. Yeah, and okay, there is a second moment when you could play G4 again, it was here, the same question, let's say. Okay, it's a different moment, of course, but... Я вже сказала на трохи пасивні фігури, слон на Е3 не грає, кінь на С3 підвисає і робити такі ходи, як Ж4, не для цієї позиції. As I already said, my pieces are poorly coordinated. Bishop on E3 is passive, Knight on C3 hand gain, so it's risky to play G4 in such kind of position. And I also wanted to ask you, Fanny, did you consider here to play H5 immediately instead of Rook C8, and if it's possible? Definitely it's possible and uh, the type of the position is similar to what happened in the game later on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, probably it's just, uh, how to say, to catch the possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, but Rook C8, the, the idea of the move Rook C8, just wanted you to know, just to put the, the Rook uh, to play. Or was was oh, well, it's just a normal move. Просто надзвичайний хід. And later on, the pieces has been changed and it was a draw. Would you like to add something here in this game? Пізніше всі фігури були. Я думаю, що саме основне вже було сказано. I think that main things were mentioned already. Чи є запитання у преси? І мікрофон. До ужасниць. У кожної може бути... The question for both players, uh, which moment in this game you find to be critical, you had to stop and think for a while? I partly answered this question. I believe it was 18th move, A4. Maybe I should have tried something else. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, well, okay. It's, uh kind of slow game, probably there's some subtle things at some moment, but it's hard to say that there are, you know, specific moments so which really think it's very crit critical. But at any moment you find that you were a bit afraid of coordination of your pieces, because as you mentioned, these knights are a little, can be unstable at one point. Uh, well, it's just uh, this type of position mm -hmm. with uh, quite close, uh, but there's some um, tiny chances, probably, so it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I think at any moment, the confidence is a good thing. Mm -hmm. 
Jeszcze zapytanie. Uh, question to you, who is fine? How did you spend yesterday rest day? Uh. A czemu tylko do pretendentki? Question only to Chinese player. Do you know already how Maria has spent this day? <laughs> For both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Probably expected something unusual, but uh, for me, I just uh, take some walk around the around the city. Although there are some interesting interest interested things happen, but uh, yeah, quite a good day to have some rest and to walk around and see the city a little bit. Yeah, Huliala. Ну, в основному те саме. Взагалі я вважаю, що вихідний день існує для того, щоб відновитися. Mainly the same thing. I just believe that the rest day is to come fresh for the next round. Have you noticed a huge chess set in the center of Lviv? Чи ви помітили набір великих шах і центр міста? Not far away from our hotel, by the way. Недалеко від вашого тіна? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Ще ні. Я бачила шахову дошку біля Марії Львова. I've seen this board next to the Rat House of Lviv. Are you satisfied with conditions in the match? Are you happy with everything? Maybe you lack in your Chinese cuisine? Or, okay, just are you happy with all conditions? Since the match has just started, so I think it's too early to say about this kind of thing, so probably I'll keep my word now. Match лише недавно розпочав. Historical and there are many things to see. Але місто дуже існує. Have you found any at the moment? Як щодо китайської їжі, ви знайшли щось? Which like you like? Through my walking, I found, yeah, of course, we found some Asian Asian style restaurants, but we didn't, you know, try it. Ну, поки. So we have a huge. Ah, also the question to Maria. Yeah, Maria is happy with everything. Lviv. What about China? How do they follow the match? Do you have any idea about it, Fan? Yes, we have many followers in China through the internet. As you might know, there is a six hours time difference, but still many people are following online, including my friends, and also I heard many chess fans as well. So just sleeping. Китай не спить. Any more questions? Okay, thank you so much for.